Now comes Donny Buchulam, who will moderate this section. Very important section. Very, very important. You can speak. Go ahead, Don. Uh, thank you, everyone. Um, on behalf of the class of 72, I would like to thank everybody who has participated in this today's event. I particularly want to thank the Amuches uh, for their participation and also just add my expression of sympathy on behalf of all Omarians and all his friends um, as those friends who are in attendance. Thank you very much. Um, at this time, I would like to again invite those who would like to offer words of tribute and encouragement for the family. Um, I, I would start initially with uh, Mr. Godwin Akobeze, if he is present. Yeah, good evening. Are you hearing me? Yes. Loud and clear. Are you getting me? Are you hearing me very well? Very well. Uh, I thank all those that have participated this night. Thank the host. Thank uh, the organizers. Very beautiful work. Uh, mine is a kind of testimony for others to emulate the kind of life Emuche leads. Um, 1972, when we met and we became, uh, we became uh, housemates in Cozy's house, uh, Emuche made me not to go back to my village because of the difficulties I had. Emuche sustained me both in food and in books. I had an opportunity to be cooking with a can at the upper pavilion while others were in the refectory eating because I couldn't pay my body fee. Emuche was the one who encouraged me not to go to the village and he continued supplying me with food. I came to Maya with only exercise books, no test books. I was exchanging my Emuche's test books. While he's reading this particular test book, I would pick another one he was not reading to read. That was the way I survived for the first two years. Emuche, when we left Omaya, I briefly met Emuche at IMT while he was on his way out to the United States. The last time again we met, we met at NMPC. He met me there. And we lived together until 1990, when I lost my job, the same Emuche again came back to my life. Emuche had, I don't know the kind of spirit, I don't know the kind of human being he was, but only God will pay him back. Emuche was the one who sponsored me with all my APOs, which I was picking up here and there to make life, to get on with life. Emuche did not stop there. Emuche kept me in his house at his library. In fact, it was at that point that I came one on one with Kate the wife. Today, today, Emuche is gone. Emuche parted so much to my life and my family. And I, I want every one of us 
who are in this, friends, classmates, to emulate Emuche. I was happy that what Emuche did to me in government college of Maya, that my daughter schooling outside the country did the same thing by use sacrificing her school fees to pay for somebody he never knew who was to be deported from River State. This kind of life need to be emulated. And I thank God that some of us in this class, class of 72, are equally doing marvelously well. I don't want to use this opportunity to mention one or two persons, but I know God will bless you and keep you and keep all of us until we meet again. I personally have, I'm in Kaduna, and for sake of Emuche and the life he touched, especially my humble self, God willing, I'll be at Azumi and say bye-bye to a good friend. God bless you. Thank you for listening.